the great Sonny Lubick Field at Hughes Stadium. The career Sonny Lubick had here at Colorado State. And I think today we're going to see a part of that tradition come to fruition here in the snow as we get ready for some Mountain West Conference football action. It's Corey Chavis with DraftNasty.com. Take a look at the tailgaters. Mountain West Conference football. Get it in. So who got nasty? <laughs> well, there were a number of candidates, but one guy that stood out, Nick Openair. Openair who had already come into the game with two interceptions, is a guy I like in cover two. Look at the quick jam right there, and then to come up to support and try to stop the first down. Says he doesn't like to listen to fast music before the games. They look pretty fast on this deep one by Terrence Kane. Picks off the ball, and after he picks it off, he lets everybody know, hey, I came to play, as he gives the don't throw it over here sign again. But he wasn't done. Fourth and two. A swing pass in the flats. He comes up again, delivers the blow, and open there was a guy who got it done. But I like this transition at 176 pounds. Look at the plant and drive to be able to drive up back on David Reed, the youth for pressing this year. So much action to describe. I'll let you hear the sound for me. When you look at their, their football teams, two guys I like to look at on offense, Rashawn Greer and Deion Morton, number 31 and number 84, both provide outside targets for the Rams. It makes their offense a little bit more potent with the loss of Gartrell Johnson from last season. But the guy I came to see up front for the Colorado State Rams was Cole Pemberton. Whenever you look at Pemberton, you have to remember he's 6'7", 316 pounds. And the thing I like about Pemberton, he plays both the left tackle and the right tackle position for the Rams, sometimes changing in the middle of a series. One of the things I was a little bit concerned about when I watched him on tape last year was the fact that he had a tendency versus speed to drop his head. Pemberton has alleviated that problem thus far, at least from what I've seen in 2009. And today, he showed improved balance, he finished plays better, and although he still played with a little too high of a, of a pad level at times, I thought Pemberton did a very good job overall in terms of being very consistent in finishing his blocks. I like his flexibility, I like his length, and I think his footwork has improved uh, tremendously from last season. In terms of Utah, I can't, I cannot, I'd be remiss not to mention Zane Beatles, the six foot four, three hundred and five pound tackle. What I like so much about Beatles is his footwork. He's one of those guys. The reason why they have him on the left side of the line of scrimmage, he has flexibility. I like his kick step. I like the fact that in retreat mode, he still has a base. He shows the ability to anchor, and he's nasty. I predict that he'll move to the left guard position and have a successful NFL career. So Sylvester, the linebacker from Utah, 6'2", 224 pounds. Sylvester is an explosive player, but sometimes the production doesn't match the athleticism to me. Last season in the Sugar Bowl, everybody...